the Rotary Subramanian thesis was that they make they draw a distinction between pro market reforms and pro business reforms, and the two things are different. So uh, reforms obviously means unplugging of the of government controls, but it can just help business and or it could just let market forces decide business the two things are quite different so what from what we believe as the four legs of liberalization is the shift towards private business privatization as one part privatization of public sector and also allowing of greater private private participation in businesses opening up of sectors to private participation so before that pretty much it was the industrial policy 1956 that was ruling the show and with changes or true but by and large sectors that were closed to private and very few that were open and all of that so that changed so that's one privatization the other leg was deregulation right growth caps were removed mrtp for example was removed which led these mid-sized businesses actually grow to larger uh, sizes and the third was globalization connecting better with the external world now as during this first five years of the reforms, I myself completed my MBA from Ahmedabad and took up a job in a uh, in a public sector uh, uh, development uh, institute, finance institution, IFCI, still there for one year, and then I went abroad for my PhD. So I was applying to universities. I had to go get foreign exchange and I, I had an account I think in the Indian overseas bank or something they said well you go to the Sansad Mark branch and between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock there is a foreign exchange counter which is open where you put in your application and three days later you will be given the drafts the dollar drafts which you can send to the university this was already 1993 not pre-91 but it was just so I did all of that and on the assigned date I went to the counter and they said well you know what I can give you only nine of the universities that you applied for I cannot give you the tenth university I said why what's wrong it turned out that I was applying to University of California Berkeley and University of California Los Angeles and according to the rules both checks both drafts have to go to have to be marked to the regions of the University of California because they were both part of the same university system according to RBI rules or the banking rules this mean, meant that I was doing something totally I was really trying to game the system I was trying to do something so he said no I cannot give you two drafts for University of California right so I mean just just to show the ridiculousness of uh, how these controls are sometimes uh, comical for uh, for want of a better expression and by 94 I had moved to the US now the uh, what in my mind from the US of course I used to keep coming to India and witnessing India and because I was visiting India in gaps some of the differences were quite stark each time I would come to India it would look very different from what I had seen two years ago or three years ago so clearly the country was changing very fast and very visibly and many of these forces the apparent changes were actually a result of liberalization and private sector activity being allowed in many parts of the economy. One thing that we have that I used to see uh, when I when I used to visit India during that during the late 90s and the early 2000s, and which is probably true, was the pace of acquiring technology accelerated hugely because of liberalization. So what was getting developed in the West was now coming to India within months of its development as opposed to decades before it's very difficult to disentangle the effects of liberalization and technology so for instance in 1991 if you wanted to get money out of a bank you would have to take a check and go to that bank and spend half a day getting money out of its teller to stand in queue and get it today we cannot even think about it we'll take our debit cards walk into an atm and get money anytime anywhere banking so that is an effect of liberalization and I did a whole book on how SBI was transformed only in response to competition from the new banks ICCI Bank, HDFC Bank and uh, Axis Bank which was previously UTI Bank in particular so the appearance of these new banks in the economy in 1994 changed completely the financial sector 
and the old public sector bank were pushed precisely by competition to to change the ways of their function and it was not an easy move for them but these were like hard ossified very serious bankers being asked to do things completely differently right they were used to banking where customers lined up to come to their desks whereas icici bank next door was having a guy standing right in front of sbi bank waving a sheaf of paper to the guy saying that why why do you want to have your account on sbi our branch is like three floors down the road come we will give you a better service that was the aggression with which the new banks were seeking customers and it was a complete change of mindset that the old banks were to adjust to and they did that it has presented new opportunities it has presented new threats and people have to grapple with a completely different sets of opportunities and threats today than they had to deal with in the previous the certainties and the regularities and things which we thought would be would be changeless over lifetimes are now gone they change particularly on a monthly basis now but 